What is going on, everybody? Steven Freshy on the scene. Here with the new Selection Box Mini Volume 4 review. If you guys didn't know, we just got leaks uh, for a new Selection Box coming to the game. So we're going to go over it and we're going to see if there's anything that's like a must have or, or see what's good and what reprints they have. So if you haven't already, smash the like button, subscribe. Also, make sure you check out my sponsors, drinkrate.com. It's a great energy drink. You guys should all try it. And if you use the code FRESHY20, you'll get 20% off at checkout on me. So let's get right into this, guys. Let's, let's not waste any more time. Selection Box Mini Volume 4. So they got Brionic as a reprint. That's good because I want to try to get my third Brionic. I think I only have one or two. Not sure. But that would be nice to pull a Brionic. Uh, Trishula, I might not have enough but yeah that's definitely good reprints in my opinion uh the deck isn't that old but it's not that young either so um photon dragon as a re reprint is kind of uh kind of meh miscellaneous saurus i can understand if they're bringing um what's his name lagia to the game uh so yeah these are all reprints um cypher biplan i'm not sure if this is a reprint or not yo what's going on Sean um not sure if that's a reprint or not but okay we'll read what it does cypher biplane once per turn you can target two cypher monsters you control their levels become eight until the end of this turn you can only use each effect of cypher biplane once per turn if a cypher monster is normal special summon to your field you can special summon this card from your hand if this card is destroyed by battle or card fact sent to the graveyard, you can banish this card from graveyard at one cypher monster. So yeah, I think this has been in the game. This is one of the best cypher monsters. Manju is a reprint. Um, Jouto, Jouto, or however you want to say it, is a reprint. What's going on, Satchels? Um, if you guys are watching on YouTube, I'm talking to my, my Twitch viewers. Um, if you guys ever want to see one of my live streams or just re-watch one of my streams you could always follow me on twitch and i'll leave a link to my twitch channel in the description of this video as well okay what do we have here mechlord astro dragon triskelion if you guys have watched my youtube over the years you know how much i like to make mechlord content or if, or if you watch me stream it you guys know that mechlords is my deck and um i actually got top eight in a pretty competitive tournament with Mechlords um, a few weeks ago. It was in um, one, of, one of DLE Yu-Gi-Oh's tournaments, and I got eighth place, which was pretty nice. So we got Mechlord support. This is pretty good. 3,000 tech cannot be normal summon set. Must first be special summon from your hand. Excuse me. Must first be special summoned for your end by banishing three Mechlord monsters with different names from your graveyard once per turn. When this card declares an attack, you can look at your opponent's extra deck and equip one monster from it to this card. Now, you might think that's an underrated effect, but that effect can really come up to steal any, any monster you want out of your opponent's extra deck. And look at it, you get that knowledge of what you might have to look out for in the future. So you look at their extra deck and then you yoink a monster from their extra deck and attach it to it. And and equip one monster from it to this card. This card gains attack equal to the combined attack of those equipped monsters. While equipped, so you could steal you you could even steal like like a saber dancer, you know, and and then you'll gain you'll gain the 3000 attack off saber dancer that's pretty good this is really good this is this is this is um what mech lords needed uh i'm not sure if it's an sr or super rare I'm probably an sr but yeah this is gonna be really good for mech lords i recommend if you guys next time you see um aporia or what's the wise little guy's name uh help me out here chat Primo, yeah, Primo. Thank you, Sean. Yeah, make sure you guys, next time Primo, the Primo event or the Aporia event come, make sure you play that event and you get the skill. It's called Mechlord Refinement. 
That's the best skill for mech lords right now, so y'all keep that in mind. But let's move on. We got Shuffle Reborn. This is a reprint. Um, that's pretty good, um, you know, because that this isn't an old box. At one point, I, I actually... We have the half gem sale going right now. When is the next half gem sale? Because... It might be a better idea if you're going into this box specifically for Shuffle Reborn. It's going on now. Yeah, we have a half gem sale. So if your whole idea of going into the selection box is just to complete your galaxy eyes and you have a lot of gems you want to spend, your best bet is to go into the old box and try to get Shuffle Reborn with the half off gem sale. Also, they brought Kaleidoscope. Now this card, Dark Eruption. Target one dark monster with 1,500 or less attack in your graveyard. Add that target to your hand. So this can be pretty good in Burning Abyss um, to recycle Tour Guide. So look out for this card in, in BA. Um, I think it's going to be like the only really deck I, relevant deck at the moment that I could see attempting to play this. Um... But yeah, it's pretty good. I, I'm, I guess it's a super rare. Add back Alistair. Yeah, that's even a thing too. You could add back your Alistairs if you want to play Invokes. Yeah, so. This is a pretty good card. It's a pretty good card. I recommend you get at least one or two of them. Um, if, if you play the game like that. Also, Dimensional Fissure. Any monster sent to the graveyard is banished instead. Uh, this goes to show that Konami is not afraid to bring scary floodgates to the to the game dimensional fissure is a strong floodgate and it could almost auto win against certain decks um keep in mind um it was brought to my attention earlier that monsters you detach as exceed material still go to the graveyard because monsters as exceed material are not considered monsters they're considered overlay units so that was brought to my attention earlier so if, if you play um an exceed deck with with uh d fissure um you don't have to worry about the monsters you detaching like, like like let's say let's say if i make a beatrice uh turn one with a um farfa attached and i have dimensional fissure on the field if i were to activate Beatrice's effect to detach the Farfa. The Farfa will go to the graveyard and I will be able to banish the card on field. So yeah, but yeah. Any monster sent to the graveyard is banished and set except for exceed materials. So th this card is going to be cancer, you guys. You're going to see it a lot for the for the whales in the game. I know it's an ultra rare, so not, not too many people are going to have this card at their... Um, at their access if, if that's the way you want to say it but yeah um definitely a good card um i think it's a good card but with with a, a format where you only have four cards in your opening hand you got to think if somebody goes first with dimensional fissure they're not gonna have much room to do much else you know what i mean like like would you rather go up against one dimensional fissure or would you rather go up against one book of moon you got to look at it like like that sometimes and yeah also dimensional fissure it stops things um that must go to the graveyard like cost like sean sean mentioned um you cannot use dd crow when dimensional fissure is on the field like, if they activate Dimensional Fissure from the hand, before it resolves, you could Chain Crow. But once dim Dimensional Fissure is already resolved on the field, you cannot use DD Crow. You know, anything that must go to the graveyard as cost. So keep that in mind. Can you use Kite Roid or Sphere? Um, Kite Roid, I think, is a cost, right? If Kite Roid is already in the graveyard, you should be able to use it. But if Kite Roid is in the hand, I think you should use it. Kite you can. Yeah, I think if you just Kite, it just goes to the Banish and you only get one one um, use out of it from the hand. But yeah, Yangzing Creation, this is a reprint. Um, 
we're getting Yazi, which is really nice. Um, Oasis is pretty nice reprint. Now, Compulsory Evacuation Device. This card is going to be insane, you guys. I cannot tell you how broken this card is going to be in a Duel Links format. You're going to be at a severe advantage if you have three of these and your opponent does not have any because they didn't go into the box. But yeah. Yo, what's going on, Tamias? Appreciate y'all for stopping by. But yeah. Um, yeah, this this card is really good. Um, if, if you... If, if you're not balling on a budget on a budget, I wouldn't worry about it. It's limited three. It will be at three. Oh, so they're already putting this at three. That makes sense. That makes sense. I didn't know they were already limited at three. So yeah. This card has already been confirmed that it's gonna come to the game at limited three. So you're not gonna be able to um play floodgate along with this because that would be cancer three floodgate three compulse in it in a in a 20 card deck um but yeah that that's a pretty decent idea for starters or pr pretty good on konami to put this at three because it is pretty broken for this format um lance is going up in value lance can possibly go up in value again yeah that is true but yeah um but yeah, it's not the end of the world if you don't get these. Like, you could still win games. Like, it's a trap card at the end of the day. So going going second with this, it'll do you nothing. Um, if you go first with this, it's 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 really busted. But if you go second, it's really bad. But yeah, let's move on. We got Boxia. Oh, Boxia is a UR. This is also a reprint. I thought Boxia was an SR. I know it's an SR and Master Duel. But yeah. Now, one of the best, probably the most meta-shifting card in this box, you guys, is Yazi, Evil of the Yang Zing. This is going to be a staple in Rose Dragon decks. Um, Rose Dragon decks usually struggle against Burning Abyss, but now this just makes their matchup in favor because they have, Yang they have Yazi at their disposal. And what y Yazi says is it cannot be targeted by opponent's card effects also you could target one changing monster you control and one card your opponent controls destroy it so if you want to use that effect most of the time you're probably going to use itself unless you're playing specific yang zings and yang zing rose is going to be a thing you guys i can guarantee you that's going to be a thing it might not be the best deck walking but it's going to be a pretty fun deck yang zing um rose dragon it's going to be a pretty good hybrid build um but in, in terms of like like relevant decks at the moment that are going to play this is Black Rose Dragon. Uh, I really can't think of any other decks that wouldn't use this. Maybe maybe Light Sworn decks. I don't know. But yeah, this is a very good card. Very good card. And I think it's probably going to be an SR. I don't know. Hopefully it's an SR and it's not too hard to get. But yeah, Cypher Dragon. That's a reprint. Zombie Stein. And then we got Lagia. We got Lagia. During either player's turn, when a monster would uh, 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 during either player's turn, when a monster would be normal or special summoned, or a spell trap card is activated, you could detach two XC materials from this card, negate the summon or activation, and if you do, destroy that card. And I'm going to show you guys a point here. Oh, well, it's not going to let me do it, but it says it's not going to let me do it, but it says monster with parentheses S. So that means if you go up against a DDD deck and they try to pen three Lagia, detach two, negate, destroy, negate the summon, destroy them all. So this is a very, very good card for control decks. Like, like a good way to turbo this out is with Rescue Rabbit and level four dinos. Um, you could also tur turbo it out with like Giant Rex, things like that. But yeah, Lagia won't negate non-inherit summons, I believe. So you can't negate Genghis. Yeah, you can't negate um, summons that start a chain. But if they like, if they normal summon. You can negate the normal summon. 
if they if they summon a Levianir or if they Pendulum summon an Inherit summon, you can negate it. And it also allows you to negate a spell or trap as well, which is it's 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 essentially just an Omni negate. It can't negate monster effects, but it could stop the monster from being summoned in the first place. So it's very very good. Um, I don't think this is going to break the game because Dinos as a whole right now, they struggle to get two, two bodies on board and like it's, it's good, but it doesn't break Dinos. And I think, I think, um, it'll be fun to use, but I don't think it's, it's like meta changing in my personal opinion. Now... With all these cards down here, I have no idea what these are. I don't know if they're event cards. Torrential Tribute and Drowning Mirror Force, they might just be NPC cards. So don't don't go looking at these cards down here and think they're going to be in the next selection box cuz that's probably not true. Yeah, they're probably a lot of them are NPC cards. If if they were bringing Torrential and Mirror Force, that would definitely be front display. You know what I mean? So yeah, these, these are definitely like, um, but yeah, as of now, this looks like a pretty solid mini selection box, you guys. Um, we got Dark Eruption, which is spicy. We got Lagia, which is spicy. We got Compulse, which is spicy, in my opinion. And we got D-Fissure, man. Like, it, it, there's, there's good cards, but the main thing if, if you want to do good on the ladder like if, if you're a rose player if you're a rose player i recommend you definitely want to get one yazi definitely want to get yazi one yazi if you're a ba player you probably want to get one or two dark eruption uh if you're a dino player you know you definitely want to get that lagia if you're a photon player you can get your shuffle reborn or your galaxy has photon dragon but like i said um, if your main purpose is to get Shuffle Reborn to complete your Galaxy Eyes deck, you're better off using the half gem sale at the moment and going into the box and opening it up with uh, gems from the older box half off. Um, really good if you're trying to compete, uh, complete Necros. If you're trying to complete Necros like I am, you might be able to pull like a like a Fissure or a Compulse in the process or a Lagia. So this is a, this is a overall I I rate this mini box. Um, an 8.8 .8 out of 10 so yeah like i said that's my thoughts on the mini box if you guys enjoyed this review make sure you leave a like subscribe for more reviews deck profiles and more steven freshy and also uh check me out on twitch and check out my sponsors i'll leave a link to them in the description of this video as well but yeah thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys next time peace